TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. I'll get there 2 p.m. Eastern time today. Two hours left to go in the trading day on Wednesday. And we got markets in negative territory now after quite a positive open. Dow Jones negative by 10 points, trading 26,442. S&P is currently negative by 6, trading at 2,900 on the dot. And the NASDAQ negative by 7, trading at 7,992. The Russell having quite a day to the downside off 15 points or almost a full percent, trading at 1,567. We'll start things off with the 2 o'clock update and check out that VIX. As we've seen the market pull back from the open, we've seen the VIX trade a bit higher, but keeping things in context, very little vo low volatility premium in this market, 1251. Jumping over to the futures markets, we'll start it off with the Dow. And uh, so quite an acceleration on that opening bell. There is 930. We were above 26,500. We trade below 26,400. We're now kind of right in the middle of that training range, 26,444. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story in that we trade lower for the first half hour of the day. And then we've been bouncing around a bit. You got the NASDAQ 100 trading 7701. S&P's at almost the low of the day. We did, no, we didn't get 2901 on the future being the low. We're at 2904 currently. Crude oil, a little bit of volatility around 1030. We got the EIA number seeing a draw of about a million barrels, a little bit more than that. But nonetheless, we have crude still above $64, 6405. Gold contract, been struggling a bit lately, lately trading at 1276.74, and Euro US dollar trading 112.96. Terms of what else you have happening out there, some of the movers and shakers, we'll pull it up. You had Morgan Stanley with their earnings this morning, trading higher up 2.3%. Netflix had their earnings after the bell last night, quite an open at almost 375. Pull back a bit off about $4.50 so far today. The big news yesterday, Qualcomm and Apple coming to a deal. And Qualcomm, quite a pop yesterday, continuing that gain today. Pretty remarkable. Yesterday, you had a market cap of about $70, $70 zero billion dollars when it was trading at about 58 That number up to almost $95 billion, $25 billion added as they basically win their case against, Qual uh, against Apple. But guess what? Apple liking that that is over with as well 20313 on apple stay tuned folks we got a man dave white coming up for the power trading hour and then larry pezzamento filling in for tom live from three till five have a great wednesday